Feminism. What exactly is feminism? Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. In layman's terms, it is also the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So how did it begin? Well, most historians will agree that the feminist movement began on July 19th and 20th, 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York. A convention was held to discuss the social, civil, and religious condition and rights of women, organized by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott. So, chapter 83, Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Now, at this convention, a document was created which would become known as the Declaration of Sentiments. It was written also by Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Now, the document summarized injustices women regularly encountered and offered 11 resolutions to give women equality. It was signed by hundreds of people you don't know, and one in particular that you do, as it was. This happened in 1848. So now, where exactly was the black man and his black woman, you ask? In chattel slavery. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Yes, folks, in 1848, we as a people were still being battered and bruised, tattered and chained raped, robbed, and spoiled by the very people who were creating legislation, instituting laws, and dare I say it, fighting for women's rights. Huh. So why would the black woman even get involved with such a thing as feminism? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. And how did the black woman enter into the arena of feminism? Well, remember that convention in Seneca Falls? Guess who was also there? Folks, your very own brother and mine, well-known abolitionist, Frederick Douglass. Yes, it's a well-known fact. Mr. Douglass was very close friends with abolitionist soldier the truth who would also put her stamp of approval on the first woman's rights movement held in Akron, Ohio, 1851. This is where she debuted her speech, Ain't I a Woman? Indeed, down through the years, the feminist movement only included affluent white women. Since that time, it has grown to not only include our beautiful black soul sisters, but also now speaks to black nationalism and gay liberation. What? That's right. Gay liberation. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 12. For the bewitching of naughtiness doth obscure things that are honest, and the wandering of concupiscence doth undermine the simple mind. Gay liberation, huh? You know, it seems feminism has not granted equality to our women, but instead, deceptive and divisive agendas 
broken homes, masculinity, and quite a bit of confusion. None of which are beneficial to the liberation of the black woman, the unification of black families, or the building of a nation. Titus chapter 2 verses 3 through 5. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. 